not so welcome to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and share so that many nurses can know about what i'm trying to say because many people are being misled many people are not giving and not getting the right information many people are telling you when you go there you're going to earn one million two million three million some of these things kiriani is a lie uh, how you're about to talk about uh, lori lori lo so no doubt to believe any most of the things you see in whatsapp group because some of them are lie are, are lies i know people that have been duped because they want to go to jamaica and they are telling them that you have to pay so something to get to jamaica but let us go to the nitty gritty so how do you get your license to practice in jamaica now before you get your license um if you want to go about going to get your license to practice in Jamaica, you have to know that you have to go through the Northern American Council of um, Jamaica because they are the body that controls um, the practice of nurses in Jamaica, just like they do in Nigeria. So the Northern American Council of Jamaica also controls other some other countries, small islands around all the sets Caribbean exams for them, Northern Council exams for them, they, they write. So now, the Northern American Council of Jamaica have some requirements you need to meet, or you need to get, or documents you have to present to them before they actually um, license you. Now, it is true that you don't really need to sit for any exams because of the Commonwealth rules that cover Nigeria, which we are under Commonwealth. So nations under Commonwealth, when applying to register with the Jamaican nursing board, doesn't need to write or sit for any exams. It does. They will go through your verification. You send your transcript, and I'm going to look through my tablet to see if I can um, show you, or maybe later I will put, I will um, post the requirements for registration. It's not in the Council of Nigeria. But the first thing I always tell people is, you need to get your TRN. Now, what is the TRN? TRN simply um, signifies or identifies um, is your tax registration number. You need to get a tax registration number with the Northern American Council of Jamaica. Without, um, sorry, with the not, um, you have to get your TRN with the Tax Administration Board of Jamaica. This um, board or body is responsible for giving out the TRN, and the TRN is free. Yeah, you don't pay anything. No matter whether you are in Nigeria, whether you are a Nigerian or wherever you are coming from applying, you don't need to pay anything for this TRN. It's free. It's just like. Um, um, when Malami wanted to allow Nigerians to register their SIM, you know, that kind of a thing. So all those registration is free. And without your TRN, you cannot transact any legal transaction with anybody in Jamaica. As in, even to register your SIM card, you must get a TRN number. So that's to show you how, it's, how important it is. So even if somebody is telling you they are going to do this for you, do that. If they have not gotten a TRN for you, you cannot get your license. Get it, get it out of the back of your mind. If they have not gotten your TRN for you, you cannot get your license. So how do you go about your TRN? That's what I want to say in a nutshell. So your TRN, uh, like I said, is the tax, uh, tax registration number. And the tax, the tax administration board of Jamaica issues this, this um, number. I see, this is my TRN. Okay, this is for my friend. And this is for me. This is my TRN. I don't know if you're gonna see it, but this is my TRN number. So, with this, whenever I go to Jamaica, I can transact or do business, open a bank account, whatever I want to do. I they say where's your TRN? As far as it is official business, you have to present this. I, I say even as small as registering your SIM card, you need a TRN. So, um, how do you get it? First of all. You can get it from Nigeria before COVID. Post COVID, some of us got it from Nigeria. I didn't need to travel down to Jamaica. I didn't need to call anybody to get it for me. They, they did it and sent it to my email. But because of the COVID, um, uh, work from home policy, so essential worker things and all those things, most workers are not really coming to work. So it takes longer period to get it. And sometimes when you apply from Nigeria, it takes a while to get it. Yeah, it takes a while except somebody is pushing it for you and if you don't have anybody there sometimes they still send but the efficiency has really dropped because of um, the covid so what documents do you need you need your international passport your birth certificate international passport your driver's license or birth certificate any of these ones need to be notarized by a notary public 
need to be what notarized by a notary public when it has been notarized by a notary public then you fill out the form they have a form which i also hope to attach at the end of this video for anybody who is interested um you fill out the form put the documents together then you send to them fill out the form put your documents together send it to them through dhl and track it it is easier to you better get it through um courier service that can track it so that you can know when your documents arrive there, so you can give them a call or stop them send them an email that you have the tracking missing whatever so it takes some time like i said post -COVID, pre covid it takes four to six weeks for it to be out but for now there is no guaranteed um, period i cannot say um, authentically or authoritatively that this is how long it takes but that is how you can go about your trm in the next video i'm going to tell you how you can go about getting your license in jamaica and how much you definitely aim based on research based on my experience and based on if i have um, one or two basically i might show you i might show you those places so you know how much to aim in jamaica like i said like share and subscribe to the channel i said to my nurses who are interested in going to jamaica so i can get more information from this see you next time